it seems like maybe you don't want to work with me anymore. I don't work with you. You know what I mean, Bones. How did the skull get you? I haven't made up my mind yet. And when you don't hire him, it just prolongs this lame excuse for you not to go out into the field with Boot. Why would I do that? Because when Hodgins and I ran away from our wedding, we left you in Booth, standing at the altar. And that iconic image totally freaked you out. I didn't. Sweetie, this is not one of those things where you try to keep a secret and I... But, uh, see how uh, this is? Us working together? <laughs> Very symbiotic. You said that already. What is it, the word of the day? I'd, uh like you to be there when I uh, question the girlfriend? Can't. I found microscopic grit on the skull. Microscopic grit? That's Hodgins' territory. Yes, and Hodgins works for me, so that makes it my territory. Take it. Start again, Booth. We'll be together as soon as I replace Zach. Yeah. How's that going, by the way? Get down! <laughs> Why are your eyes closed? I thought we were going to get blown up. It's just a transmitter. Uh, now we're around this place. I'd like to be in on it when you interrogate him. What? You would? Why are you surprised? Wait, are you serious? I've been trying to get you out of the lab since Zach left. Well, Zach's back, so here I am. That we saw it? You and me? Yeah. No, not just you and me. Squints, too. <laughs> What's funny? I thought you were going to kiss my hand again. I did not kiss your hand. You put it over my coffee cup. <clears throat> Felt like you kissed it. No. Cards. Cool. I killed him. Good for you. All the maggots. Bones, I said, not bugs. Lividity looks fixed. So, it's not a body dump. He was killed here. This is all flesh. Why'd you call me in on this? Wasn't me. It was me. Why? Is it because you're trying to think of excuses to put Booth and me together on cases? I wouldn't do that, Dr. Brennan. Well, because we worked things out and we're fine, right? 100%. That's like he said. They're lawyers, judges. FBI guy. Oh, this is not normal. It's, it's uh, what, Booth? You're not interested in uh... pony play? No, but I'm the first to admit that in sexual situations, I have indulged in role playing. Hey, you know what? It's getting a little warm out here. What do you say? Hey there. Back? Any uh, leads? I'll tell you why. Here we are, all of us, basically alone, separate creatures, just circling each other. All searching for that slightest hint of a real connection. Making love. Making love. That's when two people become one. It is scientifically impossible for two objects to occupy the same space. Yeah, but what's important is we try. You're right. Yeah, but... I Wait a second, I just won that argument? Yep. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Now keeping your back straight, I want you each to lean forward. <laughs> no. <laughs> Excuse me? Come on, Booth, I'm sure this is just one of those meaningless exercises meant to illustrate the importance of Supporting each other. We agreed to see another therapist, not be action figures for a 12-year-old. 22, Agent Booth. I have a doctorate in psychology from the University of Pennsylvania, where my dis- Dr. Brennan, this isn't a game. The FBI is considering severing your partnership. What? Why? Why? <laughs> Dude, you arrested her father. He was just doing his job. Uh, it'll help me evaluate whether Dr. Brennan's services should be assigned to a new Agent, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> like it or not, have your shiny machines. I have my gut. Is it always like this when you two are together? Yes. No. It's kind of hot. The 
this protective of them, Dr. Brennan? We are partners. Our lives depend on being protective of each other. And you feel the same way, Agent Booth? Sweets, I can only hope that one day you know what a real partnership is. You two are very close. Yeah? You compliment each other. Oh, no. <laughs> she never compliments me. Did you compliment me in the questionnaire? Compliment, not compliment. Pla. It, he means that we complete each other as a team. Yeah, right. Now, there's clearly a very deep emotional attachment between you two. We're just partners. And uh, why do you think I would have thought otherwise? Because you're 12. Don't read into anything. You do realize that Sweets is describing you, right? Wow. How do I look? I Good. Uh, wonderful. Get it? Yeah. Because you're a pretty good date. Except not really a date. I know. It was work, not a date. Really, really hard. And we're not really Wonder Woman and Clark Kent. We're Brennan and Booth. Look, you're the one who brought up the date analogy. You hungry? Yeah. Me too. Daisy? How do you know? It's your second favorite flower. I know you bones. Try planet. Jupiter! Because I... Because you were betrayed by one of your own. Yes. Are you going to betray me? So, have any conflicts or issues arisen since our last session? Well, Bones and I are doing just great. You look angry, Dr. Brennan. I told Agent Booth a private story about my childhood and he laughed. What? Did. So. Ah, so I did impress you. That's what impressive means, dummy. Such a philistine. <laughs> About the knees. Zach, shouldn't you be figuring out what was used to excise the kneecaps? Yes, Dr. Brennan. <laughs> what? But you just dismissed Zach. No, I didn't. Well, don't get me wrong, man. I liked it. As far as the Bureau is concerned, I caught him here 15 minutes from now. Thank you, Booth. Just don't tell anyone. I got a little something for you. Oh, I got you something too. We can um, exchange gifts in a couple days. Go to the window and open up the blinds now. What? I love my gift, Booth. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Bones. Work to avoid confronting personal issues. Oh, why? Because I don't want to talk about the anus. You really like that word, don't you? Do you two ever discuss anything that's not attached to work? Well, it's better than talking about, you know. The anus? What is it with you two? Okay, what are you trying to get at here? Your inability to share your personal lives. I, I thought that was obvious. Okay, that was... Yes, okay, Dr. Sweetsy, I'll ask him. How's Wednesday night? Are you free? Oh, what? To have our big double date with our psychiatrist? Just one more evening, and then maybe we won't have to see him anymore. He rides around a track at 200 miles an hour. Now, her, I like. You want to go out sometime? Danny, restrain yourself. No, she doesn't want to go out with you. Well, let me speak for myself. Murder suspect. Here, Bones. Don't play at being a warrior. You are a warrior. Every day, you're definitely a fully developed man. Okay. Huh? Change your mind about having kids? Both. Okay, all right. You got some time. Not that much time. Booth! Hey! Oh! Uh, now look what you did! I'm writing a book, taking a clinical approach to efficacy and focused outcomes. You shouldn't work well together, but you do. I'd like to study it further. I don't get it. You're gonna do this. You're gonna be fine. 
We can make this. Come on. Come on, Booth. Come on. Come on. Come on, Booth. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going to make this. Come on. You're going to do this. Come on. Come on, Booth. It's going to be fine. Come on, Booth. Come on, Booth. No. I've already made that clear. It's Agent Booth's funeral. Dr. Brennan, losing a loved one is- A partner, Sweets. I lost a partner. Someone close to you. The funeral allows you to grieve, so you can come to terms with his death. The Arunta Aboriginal tribe in Australia grieved by burning down their village and, and moving to a new one. That seems no crazier to me than gathering around a hole in the ground. Being hostile won't- Brennan, a word. <laughs> Bones, nice shot. What? Dead. Wait a second, you thought that my funeral was a waste of time? I thought it was a lovely service. I'm telling you, you were supposed to know that I wasn't really dead. I swear, that's why I thought you weren't crying. Inform Emotions that she'd rather deny. Striking Agent Booth indicated the depth of your feelings for him. It was a very passionate act. Thank you, did you hear that? Passion? Uh, yes, passion, because anger is a passion. Anger at being manipulated. Dr. Brent. Uh, I need to talk to you. What the hell, Bones? I'm in my house, in my bathroom, in my bathtub that you weren't dead. I already explained this to you. The Bureau has to vet everyone when there is a security issue. A bullet for you! Once! That only goes so far. Would you like a towel? And aren't you curious why I wasn't? Yes! Well, do you want me to find out why you weren't told? If it's important to you. Fine. No, I think it's interesting psychologically how Agent Booth's constant efforts to persuade you to enjoy fruit pie could be interpreted as a kind of seduction. Whatever you do is an experiment when I see one. You experimented on us. Beg your pardon? Not telling me Booth was alive? You wanted to quantify our reactions for your own research? You took advantage of us. Booth and I agreed to let you observe us. We did not agree to be used as lab rats.